Hi, I got a haircut. It's much more practical this way. I don't even have to look in the mirror. That's as bad as it gets. Actually, a lot of today I'm going to be criticizing a particular movie. I'm, I'm very lenient when it comes to, to criticizing movies usually, but this movie just particularly irritates me for a number of reasons. It's called Wild Wild West. I'm talking about the one in 1999 with uh, Will Smith, Kevin Kline, Kenneth Branagh. Okay, I'm gonna start the criticism chronologically with the very first scene because I have so many problems with the very first scene. Let's assume it's reasonable first that he is running for his life through a field with a razor magnetically attracted to his neck. And then let's assume that it's reasonable that while he's running for his life from this razor, he's talking to himself. Not screaming for help, talking. Four screenwriters agree that he would be muttering something random like, must warn president, giant spider. Not say, I have to warn the president about the giant spider they made me make. That has gotta be the worst foreshadowing ever put into a product. If you're gonna foreshadow, do it better than must warn president, giant spider, because no one talks like that. I'm not sure I'd be saying anything. A lot of people would probably be screaming for help. Moving on. Magnetic razor. If, if there's something magnetically attracted, first of all, it would probably hit broadside, not sharp side. Second of all, it would hit you immediately. You would not be able to outrun it. Thirdly, let's say you do outrun it, it will lose its magnetic attraction. It will not be sitting the same distance away from you the entire time you're running. All right, here's the deal. Research. I, I spent, you know, five minutes researching this video. I cannot imagine making a movie, if it's historical, with a budget of $170 million and not do research. And so if you're going to do things that happened, then you need to research them to make sure you're not doing something completely stupid. Here's the thing that really irritates me. President Grant invented the Secret Service to protect the president. Here, let me read this little excerpt from the United States Secret Service page on Wikipedia. The Secret Service was created by President Abraham Lincoln, April 14th, 1865. It was commissioned July 5th, 1865, Washington, D.C. as the Secret Service Division of the Department of Treasury with the mission of suppressing counterfeiting in the United States of America. Not until the 1901 assassination of President William McKinley did Congress direct the Secret Service to protect the President of the United States. There you have it. That took two minutes. Why couldn't these four professional, well-paid Hollywood screenwriters have opened up the frickin' Wikipedia page and figured that out? If I had $170 million, Will Smith, Kevin Kline, Kenneth Branagh, Salma Hayek, and, you know, Ted Elliott and Terry Rosio to help me write the script, I could direct an amazing Western, and it would be accurate as far as I was claiming. I probably wouldn't use the Secret Service or the White House or anything that was particularly well documented because it would be misleading for me to say that President Grant invented the Secret Service in 1866 to protect the President of the United States because that is wrong. I want to make movies that don't say wrong things. If they ever say something, it will be completely well-researched. Those are just the things that I noticed. On IMDb, they've got a goofs thing. So I'm gonna see what other people have noticed. There was a flag with 50 stars. From 1867 to 1877, the US flag had 37 stars. As West is riding in the cart under the train, the track is clearly continuously welded rail, which was first used in the 1950s. I would have never known that. Artemis is seen next to a cylinder phonograph with a horn for a sound. Edison didn't invent the phonograph until 1877 and was not marketed to the public until the late 1880s. Lovelace's wheeled vehicle was referred to as a tank, but the name tank for such a vehicle wasn't coined until the British used it as a cover name in the First World War. West says he was in New Liberty with the 9th Cavalry Regiment one week before the end of the war. The 9th Cavalry wasn't formed until July 1866, over a year after the end of the Civil War. Dr. Lovelace claims he lost 35 feet of small intestine. The large and small intestine combined are less than 30 feet long. This goose page is so freaking long. They're headed back to DC from Utah, which means heading east, but they're traveling towards the sunset, which is west. See, there's so many things I didn't even think of, and this movie irritated me before I looked all this stuff up. If you've got a $170 million budget, you should probably not have so many errors. I'm a senior this year, and... We can't graduate without this huge research project. We need to know how to do research. But why are these people getting paid to make movies, the awesomest job in the world, as far as I'm concerned, if they're not even going to do a little bit of research? We live in a very unfair world. 
That's why I deserve a $170 million budget and a star-studded cast. And if I had it, my movie would be better than Wild Wild West. Thank you for listening to me rant. I've enjoyed it.